Uh, my name is Bill Schmidt. I'm a, a registered voter here in the state, and uh, I was at the TCF Center. Um, there was a lot of confusion. You've heard a lot of testimony about the confusion. And uh, I have to say probably a, a good part of that confusion is really at your doorstep. And by that being um, leading up to this election, we knew that there were going to be problems. And Ruth Johnson begged you guys to give the county clerks, city clerks, more time. You didn't. That's a huge chunk of this. Because anytime when there is confusion, there's always doubt. And that's what we're facing now. Likewise, there was a lot of ignorance in the room. Ignorance as to what constitutes a legitimate ballot. What is a signature supposed to be all about? How the entire process goes by. If you're predisposed to see fraud, you will see fraud in just simple mistakes. Mary Smith and Fred Jackson live at the same address. They fill out their ballots. They put them in separate envelopes, the incorrect envelopes. So you have the mismatched ballot with the number, and all this is readily explainable. Unless you want to see fraud, then these are illegal ballots. So part of this problem is just human error. Part of the problem is the folks just didn't have enough time. Part of the problem is a scourge pandemic. From one minute. From my point of view, I saw a lot of poll workers work really hard. And I think there were some hard feelings on part of many of the challengers. There was a lot of sharp elbows, and people's got their feelings hurt. And I think that's what we're seeing here today, hurt feelings. That's it. Thank you, sir. Do you, you, you were in the room, I believe, a little while ago when we had a gentleman testify about how he was a poll worker and had um, received training, and in that training, there was some instructions on um, making it difficult for poll challengers. Were you in the room for that part of the testimony? I was over in the... Uh, in another room? Yeah. Could you hear it, or...? Yeah, I did. Okay, so his, in his testimony, he said, you know, there was these instructions during the training, there was a lawsuit, there was instructions to the Secretary of State to not do those things, and yet, that message didn't seem to be delivered. Would you agree with that as being I, part of I, the confusion? I would say that again gets back to the fact that this was a rush process. Mm -hmm. Right. Which again gets back to the how much time did you guys allow the clerks to do their job? Okay. Right? So, I mean, there's always a, there's a reason for a problem. So were you a poll challenger, a watcher, a worker? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm a lifelong Republican. Okay until this election. Okay, but did you have a, I just wondered if you had a title. You said you were at TCF. I was an election challenger, yeah. A challenger, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what I saw was, it was disturbing. I could see how people could be, um, you go in a very large room, it's really hot. I had a little thermometer with me to check my temperature through the course of the day. It was 85 degrees in there. It was really warm. There were too many people. People are shouting. People are yelling. There's the sharp elbows thing. You got folks that are upset with just having to be there. And because they're untrained, and there's that ignorance factor, right? Ignorance isn't the same as stupidity. It's just not knowing something. There's many things that you're ignorant about, probably heart surgery. Right? How to fix a carburetor. 
brake lining, right? There's a thousand and million things that we're just simply ignorant about. And there was a large Facebook and other social media, come on down, we need you. So you got a lot of people who are just completely untrained, had never done it before, and they're told, look out for fraud. At every single rally the president had, he said this election was going to be filled with fraud. Tweets galore, same thing. This election is a fraud. Sir, were you in, were you working during the shift when the ballots came in late in the morning? I arrived at uh, 5.55 on it's the 4th, the day after in the, the morning, election. 5.55 in the morning. And then I left at 10 o'clock at night. Okay. It was that Wednesday. So according to past testimony, that was the time of the most tension is when you were there then. I was there all day. I was there for 16 hours. I was working another poll site on election day. Okay. So my day was, election day was busy. And then, so. Senator McDonald, did you have a question? No. Senator Irwin. No. Thank you very much for your testimony, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks for having time. me. Thanks for doing this. Uh, next, I have.